How to create ICE text in DaVinci Resolve 18.6.6. .6. It is recommended to have the text positioned in front of a black or dark blue background once this effect has been created. Inside your project's edit window, go to Effects, and underneath the toolbox, select Titles. Go to click and drag a text plus edit to your timeline. Use the Selection Mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, to click and drag at the end of the edit to change the duration whilst keeping an eye on the time difference at the top and the total duration of the edit inside the box which appears next to your mouse cursor as you manually change the length of this edit. With this text plus edit selected, go to Inspector and underneath Text, type in the message that you wish to have appearing on your screen and select your desired font and size. Here in this example, I will select Show Card Gothic as the font and will increase the size to 0.24. Double click on the white box next to colour and select a light blue colour shade by typing in the following hexadecimal code into the HTML box hash 66B7FF. Click OK. To create a minor low angle appearance of the text, I will select Transform and will go to Rotation. And with the default setting of X, Y, and Z, I will increment the value for X to 20. Right click on your text plus edit and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside the Fusion Node section, disconnect the Template node from Media Out 1 by clicking on the yellow line closest to Media Out 1. Disconnect both your nodes by clicking anywhere in the Empty Nodes grid and go to add a Merge node from the menu above. Click on the grey box next to Template and drag your mouse cursor to the green arrow alongside Merge 1 which represents the foreground. Deselect your nodes once again Hold and shift and press space. Use the search box at the bottom of the select tool window to find the fast noise node. Select this and go to click on add. Connect this node to merge one via the yellow background arrow. We will use this fast noise node to create the cracked ice texture for our text. With this new node selected and with the left or right view options selected underneath this node so we can see a preview above our fusion timeline, go to inspector under Colour, ensure that Colour 1 and 2 are set to black and white respectively. Select Noise. At present there is two greater dark presence on our Fast Noise node. In order to create the ice crack texture, we need to reduce the size of the darker sections of this Fast Noise effect. In order to do this, under Noise, double click in the value box next to the detail variable and manually change this to 100. Then to make the light and dark sections stand out from one another, Increment the value for contrast to 1.5. To add some vibrancy to the lighter section, increment brightness to 0.3. These adjustments should help create the frosted texture, the darker sections representing the cracks in our text. In order to reduce the size of these now, change scale to 100. And to have these merged on the text itself, select Merge 1. When we select the right view option for Merge 1, we can see that the fast noise effect hasn't been merged with the text. In order to do this, change the operator from over to in. With Merge 1 still selected, hold in Shift and press space, and go to add a soft glow tool. With this new tool selected and set to preview, go to Inspector and underneath Controls, increment Threshold to 0.1. And to make the blue shade stand out more, which should help to reduce the amount of whiteness and to make the cracks stand out more in the ice effect, Decrease Gain to 1.25. With Soft Glow still selected, hold in Shift and press Space once again. And go to add a Raise CIR effect. Connect this new node to Media Out 1 to complete your Fusion connections. With Raise 1 selected and Media Out 1 set to Preview to see the overall effect on screen, go to Inspector, reduce Blend to 0.5 to reduce the intensity of the rays and to make the text more readable. And depending where you wish for the rays to be positioned, alter the center X and Y values. I wish for the rays to point upwards to reflect the rotated horizontal position of the text which I previously applied inside the edit window. Therefore, I will reduce center Y to 0.25. I also wish to create a gentle animation where the light rays change position horizontally as the video clip plays where the rays point towards the top left corner at the start and then point towards the right as the animation plays. In order to achieve this, 
I will first ensure that the red playhead is positioned at the very start of my animation at frame 0. To have the raised point towards the top left corner first of all, I will increment center x to 0 0.6 and will select the keyframe diamond icon next to this variable. The rule that I will apply to the animated light rays is to have the center x position changed by minus 0 0.1 after every 5 seconds of screen time. Since my text plus edit is 10 seconds in total, I will need to change center x to 0 0.4 at the very last frame of this video clip. The final frame number is indicated on the second box from the left underneath the start of the fusion timeline. Therefore I will place the red playhead here at frame 239. I will change center x to 0 0.4 and now the light rays point towards the top right corner of the canvas. The checkered background surrounding my text indicates that this is transparent. If you wish to reduce the intensity of the light rays further, you can also decrease the value for weight. Here in this example, I will decrease this from 3 to 2.1. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.